Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Sturge here and Tara back on the channel 12 for another episode of the Let's Play series. Right now we have five out of the five bullets ready to get going something around the base, as well as the laboratory you has to get one of the troops or spells upgraded inside of there per usual. And we are pretty close to the end of the season for the season pass. As you see here, we have two hours and 36 minutes left before it ends. And as usual, just like the last season, we don't have the season bank filled up. We need about 19 million gold elixir and about 130,000 dark elixir. I'm pretty sure that's how much we need to fill up the rest of the dark elixir inside of the season bank. So today we're gonna see how much loot a 10 all 12 can farm within a one hour training boost using the sneaky goblin attack strategy. Here it is, I used it in a few episodes ago trying to fill up the season bank as quickly as as I can. So we'll do that again for today, seeing how much I can farm within an hour on the Tunnel 12. But before we head on and do a bunch of attacks using the Sneaky Goblin attack strategy, we're going to be upgrading a few of these walls to spend the loot that we have already inside of the storages. So we'll upgrade these set of walls with the elixir, spending 11.2 million elixir on that there. And using the last three walls here on gold to upgrade the last little bit of, or spending the last little bit of the loot on the base, which we can now head over and start the boost. Where are the barracks? We got a couple over here. So we'll start the one hour boost in three, two, one, and there we go. We'll head on and do our first attack with this army and see how much loot we can get within an hour. Starting off with the first attack of the day against this Town Hall 12 with almost a million gold and elixir and almost 10,000 dark elixir as well. I start off the attack here by dropping one goblin on every single collector, going all the way around the base, getting rid of these outside loot buildings. So I can just uh, just see basically where all the other loot buildings are for the storages and the remaining dark elixir drills. We have one drill towards the bottom right here. So I will bar break in and take out the elixir storage to eventually go in and take out that dark elixir drill. Uh, once that does go down, I see a gold storage towards the bottom. I will warp break in actually jump spell because we have a elixir storage to the left there. So I will take out both of those buildings up to the top right. Another warp break. I only have four of these, so we can obviously only open four different compartments with those warp breakers. So we'll drop one more towards the top left to take out this elixir storage and get in a bunch of golden elixir right now. We still have around 4,000 inside the town hall and the uh, dark elixir storage in the core of the base. So we we'll head over to the right, drop in the final wall breaker to open that up and take out the gold storage before dropping our final jump spell to allow for the goblins to head into the dark elixir storage and town hall to hopefully get that star because I will be used, uh, losing a bunch of trophies today. I did wait on the warning ability and use an invisibility spell to allow for our goblins to take out that town hall, but the tornado trap in the core around that town hall kind of stop those goblins from getting to either building. So we only uh, are missing out on 4,000 Dark Elixir and 300,000 gold for this raid, but still a decent attack for the first attack of the day. Moving on to the next attack, we have been farming for about 12 minutes now as we have 48 minutes left in the timer. We have a decent raid with 12,000 Dark Elixir on this Tunnel 13, and I will just basically take out all of the outside buildings. And if you don't know or haven't really used these sneaky goblins too much, it's three goblins that take out the storages and one goblin to take out every single one of the collectors. So you will just try to take out the Dark Lucid Drill and these gold uh, mines around the outside before heading in towards the top, as you see there. Towards the bottom of the screen, we have the Dark Elixir Storage with around a seven to 6,000 Dark Elixir in that there. So I will head up to the top, drop a Jump Spell and a Haste, getting ready to take out that storage and using the Warn ability to allow for everything to head over there and take out that storage to get basically every single bit of loot on this base. Moving on to the final attack because I have been farming for about an hour now. We have six minutes left in the boost and we have a bunch of loot on this Tunnel 12, 11,000 Dark Elixir and probably almost a million gold and elixir. I didn't really see that there as all of the loot is gone except for the gold, which are still in some of the storages, which you will take out there. We have a 9,000 gold or a dark elixir still left on the base with a couple of drills towards the right and left side. So I will wall break in towards the right, take out the last little bit of the storages 
and I have been losing a lot of trophies in this boost, so I will want to get a, at least the Town Hall down for that first star. So I'll drop a last War Breaker up there, jump into the next two compartments and drop in a bunch of goblins to take out the gold and elixir storages towards the bottom there. We still have 6,000 Dark Elixir, so we will miss out on a little bit, probably about a few thousand there, but I will have that last Dark Elixir storage towards the drill actually, towards the bottom left, taken down with the Archer Queen. As we head in here towards the Town Hall, going to use the Invisibility spell, which you can drop to the side of the Town Hall, making the Goblins invisible to take out that Town Hall for that first star and get rid of the basically the last drill on the left side with the Queen and getting the final attack done on the boost. Let's see how much loot I farmed within an hour. So after using that training potion, I was able to farm a total of 7.9 million gold, 9.4 million elixir, and 119,000 dark elixir. Now the gold and elixir don't seem like it's that much within an hour. I think the most I've ever gotten is 14 million, so seven and nine isn't really too much within an hour, but that dark elixir is really good at 120,000, because you can basically just do another boost just like like that and fill up the storages so a decent hour boost for the dark elixir but not that much for the golden elixir and with the boost being over we can head on and start some of the upgrades around the base we have about four wall rings that i had in the magic item so i decided to upgrade two walls there and then spend the rest of the loot golden elixir i got from the boost just to empty out the storages to get more runes going around the base after doing some all of those upgrades i'm going to head over to our gold storage here as well as the elixir storage and fill up both of these because we have, uh, I think I already collected the Rune of Elixir from the Season Pass. I did, so we can fill up both of these. Uh, I am kind of losing out on 2 million because I don't have these two Elixir or the uh, Gold Storage upgrades done, but it is fine. We can just, you know, get a bunch more from the farming attacks. I have not filled up the Season Bank just yet. We have an hour and 16 minutes left, so I want to get that completed and filled up by the uh, the time it ends so we got to get that going i will do that probably off camera in between episodes but now heading on to the upgrades for today we're gonna head over to our two gold swords like i said down here and upgrade both of these up to their max level completing the uh storage upgrades for tunnel 12 1.6 million elixir for each of these in a three day four hour time getting those done there not too bad uh, now I really kind of want to get the dark elixir drills upgrading but before we do that we're gonna head up to the top here and finish the final inferno tower up to level 6 at 5.84 million gold and almost an 8 day upgrade time we'll let that run throughout the next week all throughout the clan war leagues which does start tomorrow once the season pass does end but heading down to here i will upgrade one more here and uh fill up the rest of the or i guess use up the rest of the loot on walls so we'll use the 3.2 million elixir we have here on the dark elixir drill in a five and a half day upgrade time. I uh, will off camera upgrade another one of these drills because I want to do an, more attacks to fill up the season bank. But for the final upgrades of the day, I will be upgrading the Archer Queen up to her next one or two levels. We have a bunch of dark elixir around the base that I have to get using around here. So we'll head into the season pass and collect the 30,000 that is still inside of here i think we have 10,000 close to the start we do very good so now we have a 211,000 dark elixir which you will use right here 143,000 on the archer queen and a five day upgrade time but we will use a book of heroes to keep her up so we can use her inside of clamor leagues we'll head over to the lab here and get something going inside of here which is going to be a dark elixir upgrade we don't have enough just yet but if we head up to the trader and buy some dark elixir i think that might be enough to get the poison spell upgrading uh no it's not but what else can we do we can upgrade the ice golem we'll upgrade the ice golem 88,000 dark elixir and almost a six day upgrade time not too bad there and i guess we have a bunch of elixir and gold we are up, already upgraded a bunch of walls using the loot we farmed with the sneaky goblins in that hour so i guess we will upgrade or i guess use the rest of the loot we have here on the rest of the walls to finish off today with a bunch of wall upgrades i kind of should have calculated how many walls 
I upgraded or I had before starting the one hour boost and how much I have now. But I will just show up on the screen of how many walls I upgraded throughout this episode, which should be a pretty decent chunk of walls. We should be pretty close to halfway done these level 13 walls at Town Hall 12. But since we have all of the builds working except for this Dark Lucid Drill, this is going to do it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did want to see more Channel 12 content just like this, check out the plays I have linked on the screen now. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.